Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example five here. And uh, in this example, not only do we encounter uh, a problem type that's quite different from all the others uh, that we've seen and all the ones to come, but also a very important question type. So here's how you um, tackle problems like this. Focus on uh, the expression with the absolute values and redefine it because by uh, the definition of the absolute value, we know that x minus three in absolute value is equal to it's equal to it's equal to itself x minus three um, if x is greater or equal to three and the inclusion of three here we could put in this piece or in the next piece that I'm gonna write but yeah uh, if x minus three um, is Hey y'all, welcome. Yeah, so um, in this example five, we encounter uh, a limit problem that's not just Hey y'all, welcome. Yeah, so example five here. And uh, in this example, not only do we encounter a limit problem that's quite different from all the previous examples and the examples to come, but uh, this type of question is also a very important type to know how to deal with, yeah? Okay, so let's get right to it. Um, what you should do in situations like this is focus on the expression that has the absolute value, which in this case is in the denominator, and it's the absolute value of x minus three. And then use the definition of the absolute value uh, to redefine whatever is inside the absolute value so as to get rid of the absolute values. Well we know that by the definition of the absolute value that the absolute value of x minus 3 is equal to itself x minus 3 when x is bigger or equal to 3. And here uh, the inclusion of 3 uh, could happen either in this piece or in the next piece I'm going to write. That's to say that I could have strictly greater than 3 here. But uh, let's uh, have it uh, be greater or equal to. Now look here, for x values that are bigger than 3 or equal to 3, what's inside of the absolute value here? x minus 3 is going to be 0 or positive, right? For any x values that are bigger or equal to 3, x minus 3 is going to be at minimum 0. And therefore, if it's 0 or positive, the absolute value says don't touch it like leave it alone so we leave it alone it's x minus 3 right uh, whereas uh, for uh, x values less than 3 right for x values less than 3 uh, x minus 3 is equal to the negative of x minus 3 which is 3 minus x right 3 minus x but perhaps 3 minus x is slightly better to recognize as negative x plus 3, right? Same as 3 minus x. And notice that negative x plus 3, which is 3 minus x, is equal to, it's equal to negative x minus 3, right? Okay, yeah? Okay. So why do we care? Well, now we come back to uh, the question uh, that we're dealing with and say that this expression is equal to f of x, right? And then we define f of x as a piecewise function. And here's how we go, oh yeah, f of x is equal to, where is f going to break as a piecewise function? Well, in the same place that its denominator breaks, which is at three, right? So we go, um, f of x is equal to, well, the uh, numerator is unaffected by our absolute value definition here, right? So we go f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 um, over, over x minus 3 uh, when x is bigger or equal to 3 bigger than or equal to three, right? All I did is get rid of the absolute values, used my definition here and said, oh yeah, I could just replace uh, the absolute value of x minus three uh, with just x minus three for x is greater or equal to three. And then we go, um, the second piece is going to be x squared minus nine over uh, negative um, x minus three. I uh, remember I said here that uh, negative the quantity x minus 3 which is what I have here is the same as uh, negative x plus 3 which is uh, what this equals for x is less than 3 right so we go oh, yeah this is for x is less than 3 now uh, 
in our very first example on these limits, right, we saw how useful difference of squares can be. And I don't just love difference of squares for no reason. It's so useful, right? Um, and so we know by difference of squares that x squared minus 9, uh, which is x squared minus 3 squared, is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 3. So you see what I'm saying is if we use the fact that x squared minus 9 is equal to this product, then I could write this here as um, x minus 3 times x plus 3, wherein I see immediately that I can cancel this here and this here. So uh, the whole top piece of f is just x plus 3. It's just x plus 3. So I could write that. And you're going to see that we're going to be able to similarly reduce the bottom piece. So it's x plus 3 up here, right? And what does the bottom piece turn into? Again, x squared minus 9 is um, x plus 3, x minus 3. So we cancel the x minus 3 here and that x minus 3. So what I'm going to get is x plus 3 in the numerator, right? x plus 3 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, since this will be gone, I'll have just a minus 1, right? Okay. And this might be uh, like cumbersome way of writing minus x minus 3. So I'll write just minus x minus 3 right okay okay where to from here well we're doing limit as x goes to 3 so there uh, now we know that now that we understand that this guy is actually piecewise defined if we do it correctly we see that we have to do left-handed and right-handed limits so we see that the limit is x goes to 3 uh, of f of x will exist and have a value only if the limit is x goes to 3 from the left of f of x exists and is equal to the limit is x goes to 3 uh, from the right um, of f of x, right? Okay, but we've been through this. The limit from the left is going to concern this bottom piece and as x goes to 3, it's going to equal minus 3 minus 3, right? x is positive 3, so when we plug in positive 3 in there, we get minus 3 minus 3, which is minus 6, uh, and minus 6, I'm going to gather, is not equal to when we plug in 3 in the top piece for the limit from the right. As x goes to 3, we're going to get 3 plus 3, and that's equal to 6, and yes, minus 6 is not equal to positive 6, and therefore, the limit as x goes to 3 of f of x does not exist, yeah? Okay, cool. All right. This is it for example five and keep watching. I hope you enjoy this. Take care.